Here's a second look at this same problem. Um, here's a situation we're looking at two populations, the population of all applicants taking an MCAT and the population of those applicants who are accepted to the program. The mean of the population of, of all applicants was 9.2 with a standard deviation of 2.3 and we wanted to find the percentage of them that got a score of, of uh, more than 13. So here's one way to do it is to use the P norm and use it as a Z score. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Here's uh, my calculation. I can find this brown area very easily by finding out what 13 is as a Z score, how many standard deviations it is above the mean. So there we are looking at that particular amount. Notice that it's 13 minus 9.2 and all of that divided by 2.3. That's counting up how many standard deviations we are above the mean. Then if we're doing that, then we're looking at a di distribution where the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. We're using a standard normal distribution. This part right here is the z-score how many standard deviations we are above the mean. With the P norm, you don't need to type in mean is equal to zero and standard deviation is one when that is the case. You only need to tell it what the mean and standard deviation is when that's not the case. So there's the particular fractional amount that we're, that we're needing in this problem. So let's just take that and copy it and paste it into here. And then we'll need to, to change it to a percent because this is a fraction. So we move the decimal place over two places and that's going to be a 4.9. Let's check our answer and sure enough that's correct. Let's look at the other part of the problem just real quickly. Uh, <clears throat> in this case, <coughs> we want to, to know the area between 8 and 11. What fraction of the population is between 8 and 11? So if we took the P norm of 11 minus 10.1 divided by 1.7, the P norm of the Z score for 11, that would tell us that brown area. Then minus the P norm of 8 minus 10.1 divided by 1.7, that's going to tell us that blue area. Okay, so if we took the brown area minus the blue area, would have that area right there, which is what we're looking for. That's the fractional amount of the population that's going to be there. We could uh, copy that and paste it into there. Notice that they want a percent, so we need to move this decimal place over two spaces. So we need to do a little bit of editing there. Make that a 5.9 percent. Uh, uh, 59.33795 percent. Okay, so we didn't have to look anything up in a Z table. We didn't. Uh, the P norm just is the Z table and is far more accurate.